first step before anybody else in the world believes it is you have to believe it. There's no reason to have a plan B because it distracts from plan A. It's very important as you hold on to that dream. There are moments when you're going to doubt yourself. There are rough times that are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. It's very important for you to know that. Don't say I'm having a bad day. Say I'm having a character building day. Take ownership. Take extreme ownership. Don't make excuses. Don't blame any other person or any other thing. Get control of your ego. Don't hide your delicate pride from the truth. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. Take ownership of your mistakes, take ownership of your shortfalls, take ownership of your problems, and then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved. Take ownership of your mission. Take ownership of your job, of your team, of your future, and take ownership of your life. And lead. Lead. Lead yourself and your team and the people in your life. Lead them all to victory. Success guys, a very, very lonely road, man. Very few people are willing to endure the pain, the sacrifice to be successful. It's an uphill battle. And along that road, you're not gonna see too many friends. You're gonna see your shadow most often. You gotta trust in the heart of hearts. Inside what you're doing, what you believe in is a worthy cause, a winnable fight. See, the thing is, for many people, they've tried the same path you're on, and they failed. As you walk this journey, you're going to see carcasses all over the place of people that didn't quite have it. That should inspire you because you got further than that person and that person. But you're not looking to get further than them. You're looking to finish. How do you know you're on the right path? Success, many will love you for it. The majority will hate you because your success makes them feel insufficient in their current endeavor. Reminds them of where they could have done it but they came up short and how they didn't revisit it where they went at and failed, and failure is what stood. They never revisited it again. The difference between a winner and a loser, the failure is there every single time. It's just the winner gets back up and does it again, and does it again, until it goes his way. So now you're down that path and you're all alone. How do you know you're on the right path? How do you know what you're doing is in the right direction? If you're wondering if you're on the right path, look at the small things of life. How do you do that? I promise you guys, if today you never say good enough, tomorrow you'll always have enough. What I'm saying is the character of who you are. It's not the title that makes you, it's not the success that makes you. The character defines the success, defines the fame, and it starts right there. Championships aren't won in the theater of the arena. They're one in the thousands of hours in the training room, in the labs, in the 5 a.m. runs, and then it's raining, and everyone else is sleeping. That's when it's won. The heart of a champion is a light switch that's always on. It doesn't go on and off when someone's watching. It's constant. It's how you look at something. If your name's attached to it, that you do it right, the best of your ability every single time. If you're dusting your countertops, do you dust around the picture frame? Or do you pick the f up and dust the entire thing? Do the job right or don't do it at all. That's the same person who has his hand raised on the podium one day. Same motherfuckers. How you hold yourself in the small things of life. Build the character winning blocks of the things that we were remembered for. I see them as one and one the same, guys. It begins right now with no one looking, man. And how you hold yourself, how you see yourself. What do you do when no one's watching? If you do it then, 
I guarantee you, you'll be doing it when everyone's watching.